Joining us on WHKY TV News, as he does each month, is our district attorney, Scott Riley, who represents the 36th prosecutorial district, which is Catawba, Burke, and Caldwell counties. And it's always a pleasure to see you. And this month, we're going to talk about something maybe a little different than our normal topics. Uh, school bus safety is something you want to address. Right, because it's, it's so important. Thank you for having me, yeah. first of all. Always good to have you here. But right, passing a stop school bus, uh, especially now that the time changed and the school buses are going uh, in the morning when it's, it's dark, I received a phone call from uh, Dr. Matt Stover, our superintendent of the Catawba County School System, talking about the number of complaints that his school bus drivers are having almost on a daily basis, people passing a stop school bus. And the, these people that are just passing these school buses are, I guess, are distracted, they're texting, they're not paying attention and they're almost killing our children who are crossing the street and it's very scary. Uh, in, in fact, he sent me a uh, video which hopefully you could... Yeah, we'll be looking at that here in a moment, yes. Uh, hopefully you could play, it will show how close these cars are coming uh, to our children. Uh, passing a school, stop school bus is a class one misdemeanor. If you hit a child, it becomes a felony. It's a very serious crime, it takes five points on your insurance and the, the guilt of going through that must be uh, is, is also a consequences. So we are going to be speaking with the state highway patrol. We're going to do everything that we can to prosecute these cases in court, and hopefully we can get some highway patrol uh, troopers on these buses to actually observe what's going on, and then to have these vehicles stopped after if they've passed a stop school bus because. Right now, if you look at these videotapes, um, it's very difficult to identify the drivers. It's, it's hard to identify the, uh, the car itself. So we're going to be asking and requesting the State Highway Patrol to um, uh, assist in the prosecution and uh, of, of these people. Yeah, and the viewers are watching some of that footage you gave us. Do you have a few tips for uh, folks when it comes to a school bus when you get to that point? Because I think for me, it's always just that instinct when you see those flashing lights, hey, you got to stop, you know, no matter w what position you are in the road, that's that's automatic. You, you know, you become in that stopping position. But what are some tips for some folks yeah, uh, who think, maybe they're not as familiar, maybe they're younger drivers? I, I think most people do stop. They're very conscientious about that. But if you're distracted, if you're texting, um, you're not paying attention. Attention, um, you've got to put the phone down while driving. Now, for for uh, anyone under the age of 18, you cannot have a cell phone. You cannot be on your cell phone while you're driving. It's illegal for everybody to text while they're driving. But I'd also encourage parents when you're sending your children out, um, even though they're supposed to be protected, they have the right of way. Um, they've got to be diligent too. They've got to be looking both ways. They can't be on their phone as they're crossing the street. Uh, they need to look both ways. Um, so just remind your children every morning when they go out, look both ways before you uh, cross the street. Um, don't be on your telephone um, as you're crossing the street. Um, Dr. Stover, my office, the Highway Patrol is going to do everything we can to protect the safety of our children. And we appreciate you bringing that to us and, and the footage that you provided as well. And you know, one of the things that I always try to do when I'm out driving is before I drive, I hook up my cell phone to the Bluetooth and then put it out of my reach in the Good vehicle. Idea. That's okay. something that I like to do because it removes that temptation. And like you said, with school buses, you just don't know when you're going to come up on one of those situations where a school bus may be dropping some kids off. So right. thank you for this uh, good information. And we always appreciate you coming in and bringing us updates. Thank you very much for having me. Scott Riley, district attorney who joins us every month, and he will be back with us in December here on WHKY TV News.